Welcome to the Miami International Boat Show. I'm here with Captain Bob Wiggins, and we're going to talk a little bit about fishing, the East Coast, maybe a little bit of Texas, Gulf of Mexico action. But first, did y'all know that Bob is famous? <laughs> Bob, what kind of titles do you hold? I'm going to um, put you on the spot and embarrass you. No, don't do that. No, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm just, good, I'm just, a, fish, I'm just a good old southern mic. boy. That's it. I love to fish. Gotcha. You've won the SKA. Yes, we have. We've won. We've been fortunate enough to win the SKA. We've we've done several tournaments with them over the last 20 years, um, and been very successful. We've got uh, several youth anglers that have won some some titles with us as well, and that's like what, Angler of the Year. Did I Angler see that? of the Year. Yep. We had one of our kids uh, win a Youth Angler of the Year uh, for the SKA. It's pretty special. So that's something great about Bob is he's really good about mentoring. So if you are just starting to fish and you want to know about how, how to get your kids involved in tournaments, Bob is a great guy for that. Now, Bob's a little bit older. He's fished for 20 years. So he saw a lot change in those 20 years. How are you using your boat different now to fish than you were in the beginning? How, is, how are things changed? It, it's changed a lot. It really has. Um, and I've been fishing a lot longer than 20 years, by the way. <laughs> But for me now, I uh, actually fish out of a center console, a 39-foot contender with triple 350 Yamahas on it. So, uh, you know, with the Hellmaster, and, and it's changed, honestly. Uh, it's, it's made it so much easier for us now as anglers to, to do what we love to do. Even though I don't get on a rod very often anymore, I love to be able to sit there with the Hellmaster especially and be able to sit in a spot when I can have a child or, or anybody on my boat catch a snapper while I don't, I can sit there and watch them. You know, just put it in a stay point on Hellmaster and, and watch them, you know, fight the fish. So it, it's changed a lot. I mean, the, the motors that I have, the, the technology that's going into the, the engines that we have now, um, it, it's phenomenal. I started out fishing when I was actually eight years old offshore on big boats, and I've gone to center console now, and that's, uh, it's really changed changed a lot. It is a lot different. Electronics have changed a lot. Um, there's so much more information out there on the internet so you can learn things. I remember when I was little, my mama would go to the bait shop and say, hey, what, what's biting right now? And they'd tell her Wahoo. She'd say, okay, what are, what are they catching them on? Or kings. And so then we'd have to sit in the floor while she learned how to rig something new and use a new bait. And it's not like that anymore because you can just go online. You can. There's a lot of technology now that you can find online. A lot of you know, things on YouTube that, that help anglers that aren't familiar with fishing offshore. So yeah, uh, you know, you, you shouldn't have to worry about going offshore and not knowing what you're doing anymore. So Bob, off of Charleston, how far are you running out to catch dolphin, wahoo, tuna? That's a, that's a good question. Unfortunately, we live, this, this is actually the East Coast. And you can see this is Key West here, Jacksonville, South Carolina is way up in, in the cut here so we're about 60 miles offshore um, it's, a, it's a long trip so that's one of the other advantages with using the center console with triple 350s you know I can be there in, in an hour if I needed to be um, so it, it's a long way out there okay so once you get out there and you're trolling um, you're I guess you're pulling plugs for dolphin wahoo are you doing much sight casting what is it like to fish Charleston I've never fished there yeah we we do troll when we're when we're fishing for tuna and dolphin like that and we typically use use ballyhoo okay um, we do occasionally use plugs but more than likely it's going to be ballyhoo with a skirt okay so what about the SKAs? Are you using ribbon fish? Are you using pogies? Do y'all catch pogies off of Charleston? We do, and you asked some good questions there. Um, we do use ribbon fish um, occasionally, depending on the depth of the water and things like that, but we catch pogies or menhaden off the coast of South Carolina, and um, the live bait is usually the best bait for a king mackerel. Okay, and so let me... Before we started this interview, I was talking to Bob, and Bob said, hey, Sarah, you know what you need to do? You need to come fishing with me. I know you've got little kids. Bring them. Mine are too little for that. But Bob is so good about mentoring and teaching younger children so that they grow up loving the water. And that's important. That's really important. It's also important. Bob is really big with the women on the water movement. I guess you took some ladies out and let them catch their first sails. They did. That was, that was pretty exciting. That's, that was how we started our week off here this week in Miami was we had uh, 
a group of ladies that have started an organization called Take Me Fishing. And um, it, it's really cool. Uh, you, there are a lot of women out here that don't get the opportunity to fish now, and these girls have put this organization together for those women. So they came from all walks of life, from all over the U.S. to fish with us on Tuesday. And we had a young lady on our particular boat. That uh, She's from Washington State. She has never seen a sailfish. She catches steelhead and salmon. And when we told her she was going to be the first one on the rod, fortunately, we caught a really nice sailfish that she battled for about an hour on the rod. And uh, it, it was exciting. It was exciting for me just to watch her in excitement with all the girls. We had, I think we had six girls on our boat. So. Something good about Bob, um, and if you go out to our demo tour at the dock, he'll really show you this. Bob really feels like everybody is capable of everything. So it doesn't matter if you have no fishing experience, he will walk you through the whole thing. So when we go fishing, I fully expect to have to work because you're gonna teach me to rig lines, you're gonna teach me to do everything, is that correct? Uh, you'll probably teach me a few things, I bet. I don't think so, Bob. Now, tell me about Helmmaster. If you are, y'all work weed lines off of Carolina? We do, we work weed lines, we work live bottom, we work ledges and the Hellmaster system has changed the way we fish out there. It has, uh, when it was introduced six years ago, the Hellmaster was primarily a, you know, docking assist system. And I'll never forget it because uh, Ben Special stepped on the boat with me when we introduced the product to President Yamaha. And he asked me what I thought about it. And I said, Ben, it's great. And I think it's gonna do wonders for people that are first time users of this system for, you know, docking assist but please do something for the anglers. And fortunately, three years later, here we go. We had set point, stay point, you know, fish point, drift point, and it literally has changed the way I fish now with the Hellmaster. We can set up on a weed line or a ledge, and if we're kite fishing especially, we can turn the boat beam two on a ledge, put it in drift point, and drift down that line with a kite. Now, Bob's really generous about sharing and letting everybody catch fish and him doing most of the work. But I think really with Hellmaster, one of the huge breakthroughs is the captain doesn't always have to be the captain. You're able to really fish and someone a little bit less experienced can help operate the boat. Is that right? It is, that is that's a good point. And that was one of the things that I, I was so interested in. However, keep in mind, you should never leave the wheel. That's right. Regardless, you should never leave the wheel. Now, occasionally, if I have somebody that has a fish on, I'll go over and gaff the fish. But, you know, most of the time I'm on the wheel. That sounds good. So, one more thing. What about, I know you said you don't use it much for docking. Is that right? Or you do use it? Because you're such an experienced captain. I feel like guys come up and say, oh, I've, I've had a boat forever. I don't need this for docking. This isn't for me. Yeah, that, and that's a good point. Um, the first experience that we had when we showed it here in Miami six years ago, I had a couple from Texas get on the boat, came down to the dock, get on the boat. The husband was interested in the boat only, didn't even know what Hellmaster was, neither did his wife. And when we got on the boat, he said, let's go take a sea trial. I said, okay, let's go take a sea trial. She said, well, what is that thing? And she pointed at the Hellmaster. And I said, that's the Hellmaster joystick system. She said, well, what does it do? And I explained it to her how it's a docking assist system. And she said, well, tell me a little bit about it. So I said, okay, we're, I'm gonna show you how to use it. So we were sitting there and she actually took the joystick. She said, I don't wanna do this. I said, I'll have my hand right here beside you. Just take the joystick, lean it to the right, and walk the boat away from the dock. And her husband was sitting over here on the back of the boat. And she took the joystick, walked the boat away from the dock. She turned around and looked at her husband and smiled. And he looked at me like he you know, could punch me in the face. So we took it out, did the sea trial, came back in, and I said, okay, I want you to dock it. She said, no, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. I said, yeah, I'll stand right here beside you. I want you to dock it. So I pulled up there, she slid it back into the dock. She turned around, looked at her husband, and she said, I don't care what kind of boat you buy, but you're gonna put the Hellmaster on it. That's really good. Um, I think I remember that couple, they were looking at one of our larger boats, and Something with the Hellmaster, people come, get on your boat and think, oh, I need a smaller boat because it's kind of hard to manage, it's intimidating, I don't know if I can handle something bigger. And 
you make it seem so easy because it is. Once you build up that confidence, they can go for a bigger boat. Oh yeah, and what was key for her is she had two young boys and her husband was a neurosurgeon and he's never home. So she said, now the kids and I can use the boat while you're not home. So it, it has helped that tremendously. Okay, now I want to talk about something really fun. Uh oh. SKA out of St. Augustine. Tell me how fun it is and tell me about that adrenaline when they call your number and you're coming out the inlet with 200 other boats. How fun is that, the race? Um, it, it's called a shotgun start and it's pretty impressive. I have some videos <laughs> of us running in the ocean. Um, uh, the last one I ran 90 miles at about 70 miles an hour um, to get where we were going to go fishing. So it, it, it's it's a big adrenaline rush. It is. It, it really is. And having a boat that runs well in those conditions, because even if the sea conditions are good, when you're fishing a tournament like that, and that many boats are taken off at one time, those inlet conditions are unreal. It is just, you, you have to really be experienced dealing with your particular setup, because you don't know what the guy next to you is doing. You've got the jetties. I mean, it's, it is rough, but having a great boat like yours that handles phenomenal in those conditions and having the power to jump up out of the hole and get out there is really fun. Yeah, and I like to be the first one out there because the early bird gets the worm. Well, thank you so much, Bob. Um, that was really fun. If y'all have any questions for Bob, if you want to see the Hellmaster system or you've got triples on your boat yep. today, yes, we do. Um, come on out to the docks or come here. To come out here to Pier 2, look for the red flags. We'll be glad to see you. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Sarah.